What's going on guys? Reset Renegade here, ResetRenegade.com. Just out on a little thrift run right now. Just got done with my first uh, first thrift store, trying to make the best of a day that could have been ruined. Um, so first I want to make a point. One, always, always carry a magnet because today I was going out for a gold buy and the uh, person assured me that it was gold. She said, I've got gold earrings and um, I've got five pairs and they're five dollars each. And I said, are they gold? And she said, yes. I was like, what carat? 14 carat. Okay, um, why are you selling for five dollars? Overstock inventory, I don't want them anymore. All right, I'll come get them. And so I drove out there and sure enough, they were not gold. They were in boxes that said 14 carat but they were not gold. They weren't even marked anywhere on the earrings that they were gold. I stuck a magnet to it and they stuck right away. So I showed her, I said, look, this it's not gold, you know? So anyways, I'm, I'm a little ways away from my house or whatever, and I really went out today to buy some gold and that's all I was gonna do because I, gotta, I really have to focus on selling. Um, I've got just an abundance of inventory right now. I shouldn't be buying anymore to be quite honest. But to make the best of the day, you know, since I've already driven 34 miles, I may as well stop at some thrift stores and, and make the best of it, you know? And so I just went to my first thrift store, and this is gonna be kind of an as-you-go video, I'll cut back and forth, but I went to my first thrift store and I got this cool Bush Gardens mug for a whopping 75 cents. 75 cents? 75 cents. And I didn't even look it up. I don't even know if this thing's gonna sell, but check it out. It says, wet your whistle. There's a whistle on it. Ooh. That probably hurt my kid's ears. Um, sorry, dude. But yeah, so this mug I got for 75 cents. I thought it was cool as hell. Um, maybe be able to sell for five, ten bucks or something like that on eBay. If not, I'll just annoy the shit out of my wife. But uh, we're gonna hit about maybe four or five more thrift stores on the way back home. So I'll chime in after every single one, let you know what I got, and uh, we'll do it that way. So see you guys in a sec. All right, what's up, guys? Just got done with my second thrift store. Um, I take you into some of these, but they're just so small, and a lot of people get really kind of weird when I take my camera in there, I found. Um, I can pull it off in Goodwills and like bigger stuff, but I, just, I didn't want to risk it on these first two, they're really small. But uh, maybe I'll get some in-store footage for you in the next couple ones. I'm also hauling around my kid too, so filming at the same time is kind of hard. Anyway, so at this last one, see if I can do this while driving and not crashing. I got a Chicago Bulls jacket. It's reversible, um, and it's a uh, pro something or other. I forgot the brand. Pro layer, pro layer. Um, Chicago Bulls, a reversible jacket, NBA official license merchandise. Blah blah blah. Um, got that for twelve dollars. I don't know if that's a good good. Uh, I don't know if that's a swing or a miss, or that's definitely a swing. But I don't know if it's a miss or a hit. Um, and then I also. <laughs> risked another $30 on a lot of watches, which I obviously need more watches, right? Um, but these are Swatch watches, and they're all basically brand new. Um, and I say basically because they don't have boxes, but they all have plastic covers on their, on their crystals. They all have, they're all in new condition. Um, they just don't have a box. So I looked up on eBay just real super quick. Some of them sell like crazy. Some of them are just like hit or miss. So all I need is one of them to hit and I'll have paid for the lot and then I can get five bucks for the rest of them and make five dollars, which is not obviously my game plan, but it's just my, my backup in case I made a bad buy there. Um, so that's what I got. I ended up, my total spend was 42 bucks. Um, that's what I got out of it. So hopefully I will uh, make lots of money. And uh, wow, this Goodwill is packed. We'll see what we can find here. Um, I'll try and take you in with me.
All right, so I just left Goodwill. Um, I was actually there for a while. You will probably see, or you probably just have seen some of that footage. Um, I ended up getting a lot more stuff than I was able to shoot because they started bringing out carts and uh, I'm a sucker for when they bring out carts. Um, so I ended up getting uh, two dollhouses uh, in the box, wooden dollhouses um, that you know you assemble or whatever it's like a it's kind of like a model or whatever but they're brand new in the box they're old they're vintage and uh one's from the 80s one's from 79 and i looked them up on ebay already because i i've never bought a dollhouse before i paid 2.99 for them and got uh on ebay one of them sold for 60 one of them sold for 85 and plus shipping so they're they're charging about 30 dollars to ship them because they're heavy um I also got two bagfuls of Hot Wheels, about like that big, on outside of the box, just like uh, just open cars. But you never know what you're gonna find, and they're $2.99, so why not? And then I also got um, Diamondbacks hat because I'm from Arizona and gotta support my team. That was $2.99. Everything was $2.99 today, almost except for the glasses that I got my kiddo. You should see. Maybe I'll post a little picture glasses um, what else did I get I think that's it so I'm gonna hit one more thrift store and then I'm gonna make this one quick though because I don't want to spend a bunch more money I my total spend that one was like 15 bucks um, so that's five items at $2.99 so two Hot Wheels two doll houses hat um, there's my five yeah on oh, the glasses so yeah, I'm gonna hit this other thrift store, um, try and get some footage and stuff there too, and see what we come up with. All right, done with that thrift store. That was a bust. Um, I've actually been to that thrift store quite a few times and generally find something every time I'm there, but did not find one single thing. Well, saves me money. My kid's kind of getting cranky anyway. So, that'll get me home. Anyway, um, Hope you enjoyed the ride along and I'll uh, I'm gonna try what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, to come up with a format to where I can post a, a video of what I got but then also tell you how much I sold it for so but the problem that I'm having is that when I post a video of what I have I would have to wait a couple weeks to post the video so that I would know how much it sold for um, or a couple days or however long it took me to sell, sell everything but um, so I'm just having trouble coming up with a way to do that but if you have any ideas on that um, I don't really want to go through and post annotations and have to go back and, and do that kind of crap um, but I guess you know if that's the only way I can do it that's the only way that I'm going to be able to do it um, but yeah thanks for coming on the ride along with me again Resell Renegade check out the blog resellrenegade.com like favorite subscribe comment do all the normal YouTube stuff if you would please I appreciate you guys watching Thank you, I'll see you next time.